Hello everybody, welcome to a Hippie on a Mission. I know I've been so lame about not making videos, but my New, Year, my New Year's resolution is just to be a doer and do all the things I wanna do in order to make my dreams become a reality and making these videos for you guys is definitely one of them. That way I can show, share with you all that I learn and along the way learn things from all of you. So. Today's video is five easy zero waste hacks you can make today with things you probably already have laying around your house. So hack slash tip number one is using reusable bags when you go to the grocery store. A lot of us already use these, um, especially with states and counties um, banning single use plastic bags, but they come out with alternatives that are like thicker use plastic bags. You can use more than once, but the reality is it's still plastic and we want to try avoiding plastic as much as possible, if not altogether. So if you don't have any reusable bags, I highly recommend getting some. You can get some with designs and different colors you can get ones that fold up into a little pouch that you can like use as a keychain there's so many different types so find one that uh you enjoy and um use it <laughs> the second um type of bag is produce bags these are really inexpensive i will uh link the company below you can also use these uh, for bulk food shopping and I will post a video about that next week so stay tuned um, if you are someone that forgets their bags um, I met this woman in the store a long, long time ago years ago before I started this journey and me and my sister had forgot our bags and we were conversing with her um, and she said that every time she forgets her bag she makes herself carry everything out by hand so she trains herself trains her brain to remember her bags every time she goes to the store um and i was like that's a great idea so i started doing that so every time i go to the store and if i forget my bag i make myself carry everything up with my hand i literally will shove things in my pockets hold things in my arms and i'll walk out but it reminds me to bring my bags next time that way i don't have to do that and when it comes to produce honestly you do not need produce bags. If you're buying things like loose leaf spinach, okay, I understand. But for the most part, you don't need a bag for three apples. Just put them at the bottom of your reusable bag and when you get to the clerk, just organize everything um, into sections. So all the lemons together, all the potatoes, so on and so forth. Um, and if you really, really need a reusable bag, there are paper bags, usually always paper bags by the mushroom section. Papers, way better than plastic. Um, clearly we'd like to reduce all waste as much as possible, but if you are in a pickle, use paper bag and then compost it when you're done or reuse it a couple times. Um, so tip number one, reusable bags. Oh, and if you forget your bags, if you're somebody who forgets the bags, your bags, you can also leave them in the back of your trunk, um, in your trunk or in the back of your car. That way you always have some on hand. The second zero waste hack that you can start today, which you probably already have one, is a reusable water bottle. Reusable water bottles are like a trend right now, which I think is like the coolest trend ever and everyone should jump on the bandwagon. Um, but there's so many different out there, so many different brands out there. You have Clean Canteen and Swell and Hydro Flask and so many more that I don't even know the name of. Um, try avoiding plastic ones clearly and sticking to stainless steel or glass. You can find colored ones, ones with a design on it, designs on it. And not only is it good for the planet, but it's good for you because you keep yourself hydrated throughout your day. So do yourself a favor and get yourself a reuse, reusable water bottle. They are kind of pricey up front clean canteens maybe like 45 35 to 45 you can definitely find cheaper ones also hit up some thrift stores i actually found a clean canteen for my dad for like two dollars out of thrift uh, um, salvation army and that would have been like 35 dollars um for the original price so i would recommend checking out thrift stores or secondhand stores as well the third tip kind of relates to the reusable water bottle, but that is a reusable coffee cup for tea or coffee. If you're someone who gets uh, coffee each morning or tea and you use a, you get the disposable cup that's going straight to the landfill. And if you get that five times a week, uh, yeah, five times a week, that's five cups going to landfill each week. Um, and that's about 20 cups each month. So do yourself a favor, do the planet, a favor and get yourself a reusable um, coffee holder. Um, there's so many out there. 
it's kind of like the water bottle you pay a little up front but you pay yourself back you can also use a jar this was free this will in the sense I bought salsa and this is the salsa jar left over so if you have jars they work as well the fourth tip and my personal favorite is cloth napkins you can use these instead of paper towels this is the first zero waste uh, this was what really started my zero waste journey. I watched a video um, and one of the alternatives was um, cloth napkins instead of paper towels and it is just like the best thing you can do for yourself and the planet and your wallet because paper towels are really really expensive and a lot of us already have cloth napkins hanging around our house and what I do is I have this little nifty basket and I roll them up and I put them in here and I put them on the side of my sink where my paper towels originally went. And every time I need a paper towel, I just use this and you can reuse them a couple times. You can use them as napkins. Um, they pick up spills better. It's so much nicer to wipe your face with this. So um, this is a really, really easy alternative and I highly recommend it. The fifth and final tip is simply just refuse. When it comes to things like um, straws or single use plastic or all these little items that we somehow just accumulate throughout our day, just say no to them. If you go to the restaurant and they, when you order a drink, just simply ask, can I have no straw in my drink? They're not gonna look at you weird. Uh, if anything, you may just strike up a conversation and they may be intrigued why you're not using straws and you can simply tell them that you are trying to reduce your waste. Um, straws are a really simple one to eliminate and just simply by saying no. If you think about how many straws we use in our lifetime and how many straws are used in a restaurant or a bar um, in the course of just a weekend, the numbers are ridiculous. So uh, just saying no to plastic and trash is an amazing way to reduce your waste. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all your guys' support. Um, please stay tuned for more videos. There's going to be one every week. I promise you that um, next week is all about bulk food shopping like I said before. So to wrap up this video, here are the five easy zero waste hacks slash tips you can make today to reduce your waste. I know they may seem like small things, but small acts make a big difference. And every time you turn down a water bottle or refuse a straw or bring your own bag to the store, you are creating a better world. So give yourself a huge pat on, pat on the back for everything that you do and be gentle with yourself throughout the journey it's not going to happen overnight um, the first step is just being aware i love you guys all so much thank you so much for wa watching and let's create a better world together bye guys